not talking about the creatives. I'm talking about the arts. You know, if not regulated, if not having a body that oversees their, you know, doings, they might go, you know, south. So here we have bodies here and there. Actors Guild of Nigeria, the Directors Guild of Nigeria, you know, even the skid makers are warming up on the plate having their ass to so as to put some sanity into the business. Now this morning I have right here a friend of mine, a producer, a director, who just emerged officially through election, <laughs> elected as the new PRO of the, the, the Directors Guild of Nigeria, DG. And I'm talking about the person of Mr. Jeremiah Onoge. Good morning to you, my brother. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Good morning. Good to yeah. be here. <laughs> nice to yeah. First and foremost, I want to say congratulations. Thank you very much. It is not a small deal. You know, imagine as the PRO of such a big body, a huge one at that, and it's national, yes. it's not state. No, it's not state. Yeah, so from here, you've metamorphosed into a national figure and player yes. in your industry. Yes. And uh, I want to know, right, has this always been a dream? Uh, well, it has always been my dream to mm. serve humanity and to contribute my own quarter to right. society. Okay. So I see this as a privilege yeah. to achieve that. Okay, all right, that is mine. And then uh, you have been working towards this, or it was just a wake and see, like we all No, say. it wasn't a wake and see. I grew into it. I grew into it. Okay, so I've been it. working towards it. So when I saw the opportunity when it came by, I just decided to grab it. Oh, nice, man. So, um, most people, like the AGN, yes. Atlas Guild of Nigeria, don't really know much about you guys, DGN. Okay. You know, I mean, except the players, yes. people that, that have been on set who actually interface with you guys, you know, you know, here and there. I want you to quickly, for those watching the show now, that might not be in the know, break it down for us, right? DGN, what are your workings? What are your objectives? Okay, uh, mm -hmm. DGN is uh, the Director's Guild of Nigeria and... Uh, is the apex guild in Hollywood mm. because it is what it is director that channels everything that happens in Hollywood yeah. as far as the industry. Yeah. So if the director channels everything, it means that DGN, which is the Directors Guild of Nigeria, is a regulatory body. Mm. It's, a, it's a guild, an association that brings directors of films together okay. Okay. and make sure that they do the right thing, to make sure that they do the professional things, mm. and make sure that whatever they do in the industry works perfectly as it's supposed to be. So it is a check. It's a guild that checks its members. All right. It's a guild that also makes sure that its members are well coordinated and they do their job very well. Okay, all right, cool. And um, going by this, we can actually say, like most people don't know, you guys are the life of the party. Exactly. <laughs> because if the director don't call the shots, there will be no film. There's no motion picture. <laughs> yeah. There's no movie. There's no film to watch. Yes. No film to see. All right. So in as, uh, in as well as you say, you have been around for quite a while, right? We you say there have been some shortcomings in the guild you would love to um, overhaul, you know, becoming, being their PR right now. Okay. As, as uh, we well, the thing is, working together mm. with all every other guilds mm. will help us to achieve a lot. Okay. So... There are association of movie producers. Yeah. There are so many guilds like the Atos Guild of Nigeria that you spoke about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So by the time we come together with a joint e effort, mm. we'll be able to achieve a lot. Okay. Because you are not you are regulating the actors, fine. Mm. But if the directors are also being regulated, and at the end of the day, there's an harmony between the uh, actors and the director, you will see that there will be this synergy on set. Okay. So. We are trying to see how we can go out there and work with every other guild. Okay. There are Cinematographer Society of Nigeria. Nigeria so right. there are other oh, guilds. So it's not just DGN. Mm. So even if we are working as directors, these people, they are crew members that are under us. Mm. So we want to see how we can build a relationship between the guild and every other mm. guild out there. Not just every other guild, every other establishment out there that has to do with entertainment. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Now, um, like I was just good, right? Last lot actually be, begun this race as the first Edo man yes. to emerge as the guild's uh, PRO. And, and now you are coming about as the second. Edo. Not really a PRO then, okay, okay. but he was one of the founding members. Oh, he was one of the founding, founding members. members ah, yes. The governor. Yes. He was in our ancestor. <laughs> yes. Salute you. Yeah. <laughs> Salute right. us. So, yeah. so uh, uh, you now being there, right? what are going to be the changes that we might be expecting as in, you know? in helping out the business well mm. my mission there is just to create a positive image in the heart of people okay about the guild 
So I'm going to represent the guild in the public. I'm going mm. to represent the guild in the private sector. In fact, any sector you can name, yeah. I'm going to represent them there. And I'm going to make sure that the guild is registered in every heart of entertainers and entertain entertainers lovers. Okay. Not just entertainers. Film makers and film lovers. Okay. There are people that love film. They are not even part of it. But oh, when yeah. they hear and know about the good things that the guilds will be doing. Yeah. So it is my responsibility to make sure that I put all the positive activities of the guild in the globe. All right. And that is exactly what we are out for. Okay. That is the relation we want to have with the public. Okay. So that we will sell the guild and make them see reasons to associate with us. Okay. Yes. One will be able to say now that you are there, you, you know, there will be this mad harmony <laughs> between Edo actors okay. and the national actors. Yes. Well, Are you on point there? Yes, because I'm, a, I'm equally an actor. I'm I an know, actor producer too. I'm I an know. actor director. So the mm. thing is, I don't have any limitations. Edo State, being that I'm from here, is not for me to just go and represent at national level because mm. of DGN. I'm going there to also see um, how I can fight for the interests of the actors here yeah. at the national level. So we want to see actors that are going to spring up from here and grow into the national, in fact, the global. The global, We start getting Edo actors that will go into Hollywood. Yeah. We start getting Edo, although they are already there, but we need more of more them. More of them. I yes. think homegrown, homegrown that ones is it, now. Yes. Yeah. So not just working here in Edo every time, mm -hmm. but we want to see a situation whereby, with the help of this harmonization we're talking about, mm -hmm. we'll be able to bring some of them from, and not just Edo, every, every other state, but being that I'm based here in Edo, so I will see to need to make sure that my people have benefit of it too. All right, cool. Now let's let's look at this uh, situation whereby it seems as though virtually all actors, like especially the OGs, the OGs, you know, they are you know tilting towards directing now. Yes. I was seeing the video the other day of um, 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 Jim Ike. Oh yes. Directing. I'm like, oh, Jim Ike not directing because we all know him as an actor. You know, yes. we know the likes of Ramsey you know they are into yes, directing for a long time. Come several even in here though, yes. and all that. So I want to know, right? Professionally uh, and from your ends, is this right? And is it um, encouraging? Because one would say, you know, you have you have to stick to your place yes. and stick to your guns and be an authority. They are making yes. work, right? You know. So wherever you see um, actors doubling up or uh, 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 cross capital yes. into directing, you know, <laughs> in the business. Well, is it good for the industry? Yeah, it's good for the industry. Mm. The reason is because they are equally storytellers. All right. Being, a, being an actor also means that you're a filmmaker. Okay. So you have the right to belong to whatever you want to. Okay. So if they say they want to go into directing because they have already gained some experiences over the years, mm. and some of them have already gone to understudy the course, mm. so they will want to put it into practice and that's exactly what they are doing right now okay it's a shock to know that raps Noah is a member of the guild i know because i know be, i know before you talk to you must be oh, yes, yes, is so. you, is you my member yes. they are all part of the guild <laughs> they are all part of the guild yes i got you my man being politically correct yeah you know what i mean all right he's all good as well like i did say right these guys they call the shots most people don't know. This guy's called Sean because If they are not on set, no movie to watch. And once they're on set, they are like God. You know, if they don't say go, you don't go. If they don't say sit, yes. you don't sit. That very popular phrase, action. Yes, action. <laughs> that is the word. Is out there <laughs> for you. So how long have you how long have you been, been doing this now? How long, how long have you been into the business I as mean, a director, actor? Okay, as an actor, okay. I actually started as an actor mm. before I went into directing. Yeah. I started as an actor 15 years ago, okay, and I came into directing 10 years ago. Oh wow! Yes, and it's been wonderful experience all so the far. way, all yes, the way. Yes, because okay. you meet so many people from different walks of life and mm. different home background. You, you need to be able to coordinate them. You need to be able to coordinate them. I'm very glad even the directors get of Nigeria that they're coming up with uh, with uh, the DGN Academy. Oh, the DJ yes. Academy. Yes. Wow. And it may right. likely spring up from Edo State. Are you serious? Yes. Wow, that is <laughs> so it, it just that. like just like we see that people have to go through some certification before they become members of some certain yeah. uh, bodies. Yeah. So that is how it's gonna be with the DGN. Okay. They have to go through some training before they can be absorbed into the guild. Oh nice, nice, very, very nice. This will make us to have good product out there. Yeah. Good directors, not just calling, not just Three, two, one, action no, directors. The we are shots. talking about the real shot. Yeah, they know what they are shots. doing. Okay. It's not the ones that just say action and cut. No. <laughs> we want the ones that will say action and cut. And when the good, when the final work is out, yes. there will be an applause. Let me even come in here. Who will you say is a good director? Well, 
a good director mm. is a skilled director. A skilled director? Yes, a skilled director. Right. And Can a skilled director is a director that has been trained. Oh, okay. Not someone that just wake up and say, I just want to become a director. Okay. You must go you, through the meal. Um, yes. Oh. If you have been trained, and not mm. just being trained, you have to be able to use your training to be creative, to bring something even more than what you were trained for. Into reality. Thank you very much. So that is yeah. what makes a good director. Not just coming up to say, I'm a director. So what makes you a good director is when you do outstanding jobs, when you oh. do jobs that make people to be amazed. That now, is what that, makes you a that, good director. That wow people. That is wow it. people. All right. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not talking, I'm talking about directing. You have your new movie. To get to care, <laughs> to get to care. Who I am actually part of. <laughs> yeah, you know, you give me a little camera, eh? you know. The road that really befitted you. <laughs> yeah, 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 it goes with my persona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's the plan? You know, premiere has been done. Yes. You were to do an exclusive premiere the other day, but some yes. things, you know, uh, yes. came up and you had to like shoot that for the big. Yeah. So, yes. what's the plan? You know, what's the plan for the movie? Because it's not the cinemas. You know, where, how soon can the general public start viewing okay. screening it, yeah. All right, any moment from now, mm. it will be showing on Africa Magic. Oh, wow. Yes. Congratulations, Thank my you very much. Then any moment from now, yeah. it will go on Amazon Prime, too. Wow. Yes. So, Amazon Prime? Yes, Amazon Prime. Lovely. So it's going, to, it's going to be something that, in fact, everybody should watch out for it. Just wait for 2K2K. Lovely. You really yeah, lovely, need to lovely. see lovely. it. You know, <laughs> you know the, all, the, all the I was thinking, I was thinking about it, and I, and I said, this um foreign movie platforms yes i, I, I think they look at now like never ever before yes. for local, local content. content those content that you think are rise those stories you think are for never do well as <laughs> got it like that's what yes. you're going for yes. you know and i said to, i think took it to get fit into this yes i was with a white man that came from uk okay. yesterday yeah and i was asking him how do you get to understand our language and he said i really want to learn your pigeon Wow. That I enjoy, when I listen to people speak it, I enjoy it and I want to learn it. Yeah. So I just look at it and that is what this 2K2K 2K is all about. Mm. And these white people, they really want to learn our language. Yeah. And thank God the film is, is, is subtitled. Absolutely. So definitely, all the pidgin, all the uh, do language that was mm. spoken in the film, mm. people all over the world, they will definitely understand it. All right, good. If only he knows that uh, <laughs> pidgin English was as a, re was as a result of our uh, forefathers, yeah. not being able to speak the actual English. Yes. So they have to break it down, you know what I mean? yeah. which we all love right now. Yeah. And I think now we call it Nigenix, you know? Yes. yes. And uh, he's easily, you can easily relate to, you know, what has been said down there. Cool. Well, before we wrap this uh, interview up, I want to know from you, um, uh, you guys are hardly into any scandal, directors. Is it because you, you guys are behind the scene, so most people don't really, you know, take note of you guys? Or you guys are just, just that so perfect <laughs> that you... <laughs> because of late, the other, the other day, there, there was this actor that was suspended from Actors Guild of Nigeria for uh, being, for being a, uh, a questionable character, you know? I think selling or consuming drugs or so, yeah, you know? And we've heard a series of complaints, you know, and such actions you know, from that part of the industry. But you, but you guys, in the hand, you have to hear one director, you know, apart from uh, the one we all hear that much. Sleepy for us. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, how do you say you actually, you are, you are able to sanitize, you know, your own part of the business? Okay, uh, yeah, you, you mentioned know. something now, the one that we all know. Uh, yes, yes, now, yes, uh, uh, that, that makes us part of the scandal too. Uh, yeah, but, yes. he, but it's not allowed. Yes, not allowed. Just there. Now, the reason normal. is because mm. there is a check on every director. Oh, wow. So, every you guys, so, yes. so you guys, the guild are doing a good job. Yes, every Checking directors guys, right? are supposed to be disciplined. Okay. Because that's the only way you can carry the crew along. Okay. So you are the head of the ship. Right. You are the pilot of the plane. So you have to be disciplined. Okay. So no matter, no, there's no perfect director anywhere. Mm. But with the help of the guild, that's why there is regulation. Mm. If there's any director that messes up where you are, and you place a report to the guild, mm. definitely, they may not need to come to the public and announce, mm. but they are going to give him the discipline that he deserves. Okay. So what the guild does is to cover some certain things, because we are Apex. All right. So to cover some certain things for these directors and make sure that they are well disciplined, that you, they will not go repeat it again Okay. whenever it happens. So it's not as if there are no flaws there. Mm. There are flaws. But the you just guild don't check the has a way to check it very well to make sure that we don't use it to embarrass the guild and the office of the director. All right. Lastly, when a when a director or when an individual when an individual is is found impersonating the guild, yes, 
he or she is not the director, trained or not. He or she might not even be an actor. Yes. But at the end of the day, he or she prides herself or himself as a director. <laughs> and you know, when you do such things as this, you have these mischievous, you know, mischievous um, activities yes. around you. Like yes. one was busted some couple of months back, you know, sleeping with young girls. Yeah. You know, all in the beat of, oh, I am a director. Oh, I want to. Rules. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do you do to such, pe uh, such people? What does the law, you know, what does the law of the land stipulate that such people will go through? Impersonation is a mm. crime. Yeah. Yes, it's a crime. So the guild does not even support it. So whereby you bust anyone like this, what yes. happens? Which, does which the law happen. recognize? We hand them over to the law. Okay. We hand them over to the law because you are already impersonating. Okay. If you want to be a director, you should go through the... It's not just Directors Guild that are there. There are other associations, but you should go through the right channel. Mm. The Directors Guild of Nigeria has come to build a formidable alliance with individuals. Right. We are not saying it's a must, you must join our guild. But we are going to put out values that will make you want to join the guild. So if you are a director out there and you don't belong to any guild, and you are doing such thing, you have to stay away from it because when we catch up with you, you will face the law. Begay. 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 Thank you so much for coming to God bless Begay. you, my Begay. brother. Begay. Wish you the best. And how, how, uh, how many years? Ten. Two, how, two years. Two years, ten. Yes. Oh, see, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's more low. It's more. Eh? Just, just two years. Uh, uh, I feel like three. It's only like three or four. <laughs> All right, yes, yeah. You know, I yeah. wish you the best time. Thank you. So, all the time, I'll be having you right here on the show. Yeah. You know, just to address a couple of you know issues that yeah. this will be addressed from your end yes. and every other part of <laughs> the industry. Yeah. All right, it's still the Saturday show. Just had this nice chat with my brother Jerry Meyer on the new PRO DGN, the Rettles Guild of Nigeria. You heard all he said. Has spread that part where a where an academy yes. of directors yes. will be speaking up soon and. From this part of the country, yes, and those I mean, that is awesome, man. Now you may then give us that slot, so <laughs> not be new. Oh, right, 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 right. In fact, it is development in the state in the that state, is attracting right. people. Here. Wow, nice, yes. awesome, man. very awesome. So we look forward to that.